So how's practice tonight, Corey? It was good. A lot of intensity, flying like people flying around. You know, it's you know two, three greats on um, Tuesday so far. So we're good. Uh, where do you feel like the the defense in particular, the defensive line? Where do you feel like you guys are after a couple of years? I think we're improving. Like you know, at, every day. Like you know, since the first game. Like you know, it was just you know seeing where we at, and then the second game was like a really big improvement. Now like we're just like. Selling improving like today was like probably the best like you know practice we had so far so we, we're just pro progressing from the, uh, right now so where do you think you've improved the most like D line wise yeah like how uh just being physical like you know playing like you know before it would just be mental like mental mistakes like you know like lining up wrong so that and we got better from like Utah to like you know, Mississippi State now like you know the freshmen like you know like. Blackson, like, you know, and uh, Sig, they, they know where to line up now, so it's like it's coming to them. And we're just like, you know, we're moving faster from that. How different is it as a defensive end without Nick and, and, and those guys getting all that attention? Do you feel that, that it's a it, little bit different for you guys? It's, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. You know, just we, 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 had, we had it like the ends had to make plays too, so like it's no. It's not, not like we can make plays. We can make plays this year. Like we, we're going to make plays this year, and the D tackle is going to make plays. So it's, you know, it really doesn't matter to, to me. So. What do you remember about Clemson from playing them last year? They were big and physical. You know, just, just you know, they come off the ball and they'll hit you. So like you know, we're expecting that this year. So we're, we're going to come and come with an A game. How much has D really improved his game in the last oh, year? Oh, he's. You know, I got to keep up with him because he's been like steadily improving, like, you know, just coming off the ball, you know, just relentless to the ball. So, you know. What's he like off the field? Seems to have oh, he, he's, he, sense of humor. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> you just got to understand him. Like, but, like, me and him, like, you know, we, we were cool and stuff like that. We're just, you know, we joke around and stuff like that. You know, he's all into that nutrition thing. Like, you know, we make fun of him. He always carry around bananas, you know, and like a big. Two like two liter jug of like water, so you know. So. You don't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking back to the Clemson game last year, you know, with how close it was going down to overtime and this field goal. I mean, what do you think that did for you guys for the rest of that season? You know, from like last year? I think like it taught us like you know to fight, you know, just you know keep on keep on fighting because you know like. We proved it, like, you know, in Utah State, we can fight, and Mississippi State, we can fight, you know, as a young group. So, yeah, from looking back, you know, it really, like, you know, helped me, like, you know, like, like know that, you know, the game's not over until, like, you know, the clock strikes zero, so. Just a, just a second, you're a guy yourself, but how, how do you help the young guys get prepared to go on the road for the first time? Uh, just tell them, like, you know, before the game, don't get distracted, you know, my, like, my, I'll tell them that my first away game was Mississippi State and all the cowbells, you know, I was distracted, you know, I was like looking, like, you know, looking in the stands and Coach Rock kept me level-headed and so like that, you know, all the, all the like, like, older players kept me level-headed, so, you know, it's my job to, like, you know, keep them level-headed. You and Cody Parkey come from kind of the same neck of the woods, uh -huh. did you know him at all coming to school here? Uh, no, I know he came, like, we came, same, uh, like, same visit to mm -hmm. Alabama game, like, I never met him, I met his mom that time. And then, like, one day, like, you know, we, we both signed. He just, like, messaged me on Facebook, are you a Dolphins fan? And I was like, yeah, I'm a Dolphins <laughs> fan. And he was like, we're going to be good friends. So, like, that kind of. <laughs> um, I think one of us asked uh, Ryan White how old he thought Cody Parkey was the first time he saw him. How old are you, did you think Cody Parkey was the first time you saw him? When he had that, that like, that, that fro kind of, like, it was kind of like a little salable haircut. Like, you know, just, it was kind of. <laughs> I was like, is this kid like in college or something like that? I, I don't know, like really what, what he was doing there. So, <laughs> I mean, is plus it, he has no facial hair. He can't grow facial hair. So like that's. <laughs> I mean, does it surprise you his kind of on-field success this season, seeing him, you know, no, he, touchbacks too? He, he's been working hard, you know, off season. You know, he unfortunately he got hurt in spring, but like you know he's been like working hard, running with the um, running with me and some of that. You know, in sprints and stuff like that, keeping like you know, keeping up with me. So kind of like it helped him out, and you know, practicing, doing the like you know, doing the extra hours and stuff. Like that. So you can see it. You see it now. So.